How do you demonstrate faith when you're going through a test of faith? Often when we're going through a test of faith is obviously the most common time for us to lose our faith. It can be like we just want so much to be in control that we're afraid if we don't completely control everything, the thing that we are wanting to see come into fruition will be lost. And what this comes down to is really comes down to trust. And I'm sharing this video because this is something that I have wrestled with a lot that I definitely have a need to feel like I'm in control. And it's really hard when, you know, you've been praying for something to change and you're not seeing any evidence of it changing. And then it's at that point where I'll speak for myself, where I like end up pushing it and wanting to, you know, wanting more evidence. And it's almost like the best example I can think of is, is if you're, is, is as if you're at a restaurant and you put in your order and instead of just sitting and enjoying the conversation and knowing that your food will come when it is ready, when it's prepared and you can enjoy it at that time, it's as if, it's as if every minute you're asking, you know, did you get my order? Well, are you going to bring it to me? Well, is it going to be ready? When is it going to be ready? Are you sure you heard me? Will you please bring it to me? Is there anything else I can do so that you'll bring it to me? What, what can I do? What, what do I need to change so that you'll bring me my food? <laughs> or another example is, of course, you know, when maybe you were a kid and you were going on, you know, a road trip with your family, it was really hard to just enjoy the journey every five minutes. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Even though you know you are going to arrive at your destination, there's this anxiety about when it's going to happen. And I think it's that uncertainty that is really what challenges and tests our faith is we don't trust that what it is that we've been praying for is going to come into realization. And it's possible that it won't. And that can be really hard. And so often what happens is we end up like that little kid or that person at the restaurant where we, you know, maybe we end up, you know, praying more, but our prayers end up being almost like begging, like, please, please let this happen. Tell me what I need to do as if we, in our own being, you know, could work in order to make God, you know, see favor on us, which of course our works are nothing. You know, he has favor on us because of his faith, not because of our good works. So, as I've been wrestling this with, with this myself, what I've come to is how we demonstrate faith is deepening our relationship with God. That doesn't mean, you know, begging and pleading that what you desire will come into being. It's coming to a place of, of surrender, of trusting God knows the desires of your heart. You know, he placed those desires in your heart and he knows the best way for those desires to come into being. And it's possible they won't come into being in the way that you desire. And even still, can you stay in a place of trust? Can you trust that God is a redeemer? He is a restorer and he will work all things for good, even if it looks very different from your idea of what good is, meaning you have a very specific outcome in mind and perhaps the outcome God has in mind is quite different. Can you trust that his outcome is way better? Knowing that his thoughts are higher than your thoughts, his ways are higher than your ways. I know this can be really hard and that's why I wanted to do this video because demonstrating our faith is walking when there is no evidence, <laughs> when we have no certainty, when we're stepping into the unknown, which of course this is, you know, life, there is no certainty in life except that we will die. And you know, what will happen at that point is you either will spend, you know, eternal life with Jesus in heaven, or you'll spend eternal life, not eternal life. You'll spend eternity in hell, you know, I mean, it's, but no matter which way you will die, 100% guaranteed you will die. It's just, you have a choice in this life to choose what happens when you die. If you would want to spend eternity in hell, you'd want to spend spend life forevermore in heaven. 
the, the other, everything else, <laughs> there's no guarantees. Nothing else is guaranteed. Even the desires of your heart, even though you know they're godly desires, there's no guarantee they will come into fruition. They will come into realization. God gives and God takes away. And this is the part that can be difficult, is that demonstrating faith, knowing that God gives, God takes away. He may not show up in the way that you want him to show up, or you, it may, you may not have the desire is realized in the way that you desire, that you imagined. Demonstrating faith is in those moments, which the moments that make up your life, can you still lean into and trust God? Can you surrender those desires? Can you trust that he has good in mind for you, that his plans for you are for good? And can you rejoice in him? Can you continue to worship him and praise him? Can you surrender and just trust and let go of the need to control? Let go of feeling like you have to beg and plead and contort yourself and, and work really hard to make it all happen and be a better person or whatever you think it might take for this desire to come into realization. Can you trust that you are taking the right steps, you're doing everything in your own power, and then most importantly, you're trusting God to meet you, to speak to your heart, to show you the next step, to show you a sign, whether it's, you know, a word in, in scripture or an encouraging word from a friend or a song. He's giving you signs that he's there, that he loves you, that he'll never abandon you, and that you are going to be led to a good future. Can you trust that? And can you let go of the future you had in mind and trust that the future God has for you is way better? And so demonstrating faith is trust, surrender, praise, worship, rejoice that God is with you, no matter what, no matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult the road ahead may seem, no matter how blind you may feel, all those things Surrender those to God and trust everything to him. Know that your life is in his hands, your desires are in his hands, that he has an everlasting love for you. He'll never abandon you. And he has a specific purpose for you. And that purpose will be realized in this lifetime. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you might be wrestling with currently and what it would look like for you to start to demonstrate a deeper faith. Talk to you soon.